Hey everybody, this is Annie Ruth. I want to take the time to welcome you into my intimate personal space, uh, the space of where I write and get my creativity. And um, last year I wrote this piece called The Women Gather. And, and oftentimes when my writing comes, I, I will hear songs and I'm, I'm reminded of this song that um, we used to always sing in church when I was a little girl. And it was, um, I don't even know the name of it. It was a congregational piece that said, if I couldn't say a word, if I couldn't say a word, if I couldn't say a word, I'll just wave my hand. And so I would sing that and, and I would hear even some of the older church mothers sing that. And sometimes even during those times of, of testing and trial in my life, I would uh, sing it around the house and very intimately and very passionately. And I, I would just, it would just be me and God. And I, I would just build out. It wouldn't matter if I was in the home by myself. I would say, if I couldn't say a word if I couldn't say a word if I couldn't say a word I just wave I just wave my hand and you know sometimes even um, when I have those down moments I, I sing to encourage myself and so when I was writing When the Women Gather, I could hear that same melody. But instead of it saying, if I couldn't say a word, it was like, when the women gather. And so I thought about who would I invite in to, um, to present that during Dada Rafiki in 2018. And I invited in um, uh, a sister friend of mine, Andrea Thomas, who it's just an awesome praise and worship leader, and she presented that. And I shared the spoken word that went along with it. And so I wanted to take this time to share the poem that went up under that. Just the, um, I don't even know if I can even call it a poem, but just the, the inspirational words that went up under that and, and why I made that special call to women. And so this piece is called The Women Gather. The women gather because our children are dying. Truth be told, we are dying too, of cancer, of AIDS, of injustice, of hate and poverty. The women gather because we are called to meet a need, intercede in prayer, prostrate with our faces to the ground, knee bent and arms stretched in surrenderance to travail, wail, like women giving birth to babies, both spiritually and naturally. The women gather to help, to wrap our arms around our sisters in love, supporting and nurturing. The women gather to listen, hearing with an inner ear, to speak, to teach, to be an example, we gather to reconcile and reunite. The women gather to empower each other, to let our voices be heard. We gather to tear down walls of separation. We gather because many of us are hurting. Hell, we're half dead. We need healing and we need our sisters to wrap their arms around us because we've been used and abused, often confused about our circumstances. The women gather to wipe tears. We gather from across the waters of continents, neighborhoods, communities, and families. The women gather to protect our rights, resound our voices, raise them high in solidarity, in protest, to disrupt things, shake up the status quo. 
The women gather because God calls us for such a time as this to comfort, to meet a need of our sisters, to mentor and advise. The women gather to cook meals, to clean homes for the sick and shut in, to lift up the downtrodden and heal the wounded. The women gather to work. For so built we the wall, for the women had a mind to work. The women gather to feed the homeless, clothe the naked, and to be there without anyone asking us to be. The women gather to create, to encourage and uplift, to edify, serving with an open heart, not oppressively driven, but moving onward and upward with a made up mind, a heart, an open heart. The women gather to celebrate each other. Lives lived, lives given. We gather because it is innate. It's natural. It's sisterhood. The women must gather because we must gather in order to change things. The time is now. So the women gather. The time is now. So the women gather. So on that closing note, sing with me. When the women gather. When the women gather. Yes. When the women Gather things, let me hear you, things gonna change.